Gladys aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel welcome to 20 dollar Tuesdays 20 dollar Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs all for under $20 so let's get into it so today I'm here with one of my oldie but goodies this is definitely one of my favorite synthetic kinky hair wigs this is by the Vanessa brand and the style is called Le J. Now this wig does come with one comb right here in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. So let's talk about Miss Leger. When I first started wearing synthetic wigs back in 2015, this was the first kinky hair unit I picked up ever, period. And I fell in love with it. I had it in, in a number two color and a blonde color. And I just loved how easy it was. Once I customized it to my liking, I would just pop it on my head and go out the door. Literally, plop it on and go. I would wear it like five days straight. Now I am a teacher, so I work with four and five year olds. I prefer wigs that are shorter and just not a lot of fuss for every day. So kinky texture wigs are just my go to for my day to day, you know, eight to four job. This wig just stood the test of time. I think I've bought this wig three times since 2015. And each time it would last like well over like six months, eight months at a time. Longer than that, honestly, I would just kind of spruce it up with some water and like keep it pushing. It's just amazing longevity of this wig. So I wanted to showcase it for $20 Tuesday because when I asked you guys two weeks ago in the video featuring the outro wig, the Passion Curl, 3A Passion Curl, I asked if you guys wanted to see more natural hair textures and you said you did specifically kinky curly texture. So I was like, let me pull this one out. First pro of this unit is definitely the texture and curl pattern. I think it mimics, you know, natural hair beautifully. Like, look at this. It has like kind of a corkscrew curl as you see here, but it doesn't look like, uh, I, I just know I've seen some curly synthetic wigs that looked really like, okay, that's synthetic. But when I have this on my head, this is passing as real kinky hair, in my opinion. So that's the one thing I always appreciate about the Le Jay wig, like since years ago. It just looks so natural. It's not something that you just throw on and go off the pack. You definitely need to customize it to your face. And as you saw in the tutorial earlier, you saw like I would cut pieces here, on the bottom, on the side. More so because I like my kinky hair wigs to frame in a V shape. That's why you'll see me cut shorter pieces as I go up um the unit here and i always like having bangs in the front i mean i could do it with like a side part but i just prefer the whole bang afro look i think it just looks really good on me look at all the hair i cut out of the day oh my god <laughs> another pro to this unit is the cap i think the cap is definitely big head friendly i also like the density of this wig it gives you a lot of room to work with this hair to shape it in the way that you see fit i know some of you have expressed you know, apprehension about customizing kinky hair. But there's a lot of hair in this unit, which to me means there's a lot of room to kind of mess up and figure things out. And due to the low price point, I don't think you'd feel too bad, you know, playing around with it. And even if you mess up 
it's not a huge, huge deal. That brings me to the last pro, the price. This unit, when I bought it off of wig types, I believe it was about $17. So about the same as the Outre Passion Curl wig. I have seen it as low as $14 on sale. So it's, it's a range, it just depends. I'll definitely include a link that will show you multiple sites where you can purchase this wig. But yeah, yeah, if you want kinky hair for a cheap price and this is under $20, you can't go wrong with this hair. You can't go wrong. To me, it's looking like a 3B kind of curl back pattern, maybe 4A curl pattern. It's absolutely gorgeous. Summertime comes when I put this hair on and you know, walk in, people are like, wow, you look a little cocoa goddess or something. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks really good. If you are a natural hair girl, if you want a protective style and you don't feel like doing a twist out on your natural hair, because for me, my natural hair is very, very tight and coily. It does not look like this fresh out of washing and drying, I would have to twist it in order to elongate it to look like this. If you wanna to have to do all that work, why not just get a $17 wig, customize it, throw in your head and go. And this is the type of unit that the more you wear it, the older it gets, the better it looks. You don't know how many people after wearing this over and over again for months on end, they're like, hold on Gladys, but is that, is that your hair? <laughs> I'm like, no, but I can tell you where I got it from. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to put y'all on because there are alternatives. If you don't have, you know, hundreds of dollars to spend on virgin kinky hair, that's okay. You can still get a unit like this and customize it to make it your own. Now I'm gonna tell you a quick story before I leave out of here. I bought this wig like three times, right? I'm very well aware of what this wig looks like, right? So one time I, was referring to this website. I think it's called City Girl Curl, something like that. Someone was like, yeah, you would like this. And their, their units looked really, really nice. So I bought the wig and when I got it, I bought two of them actually. When I received it, I was like, wow, this wig looks good. But it looks, it looks kind of like my Vanessa LeJay wig from like a year ago. Interesting, okay, cool, whatever. But that's how, when I look at the tag, y'all, guess what it says on the tag? Yes. Vanessa Leger. Let me show you because I still have the wig. So this is the unit, one of the units that I bought from that company. And I've worn this time and time again. I'll insert a picture right here of me wearing on Instagram. This is probably from like a year or so ago. I wore this to the ground. I still wear this wig. This wig is over a year old, well over a year old. You know, it's a little, it's a little rough, but it looks super, super natural like that, because my kinky hair looks like this, okay? So this is the wig I'm talking about. I got this from the City Girls Curls place, but why does it say Vanessa LeJ on the tag? Look, I understand that, you know, you're starting a company, you buy wholesale, you buy from different places. That's cool, I'm not knocking you. I'm not knocking you trying to make a profit, especially buying from these Asian companies. But can you at least have the decency to change the tag? Your company name is this. Why does it say a whole other company name on the tag? Like that doesn't, that was just really off-putting to me. And I was just like, huh. No wonder why this wig looks so familiar. Because it's a wig I already own. Yet I paid, what, maybe two, three times as much on your website for these wigs? When I could have just went to wig types, you know what I mean? And I like supporting black business, so I don't mind paying more money. That's not the point. The point is, I know what the deal is, but come on, boo, just 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 change the tag. It's not that hard. It should be your company logo on here, not Vanessa Lejay. That was irritating, but I just wanted to share that with you all because I thought it was kind of funny. But I do still love this wig, and this is what you can expect it to look like when this you know gets old because yes this is the same wig even though i got it from another company it's the same damn wig different color you guys want to see it on me real quick hold on <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i've had this wig for this long y'all but yeah this is how it vanessa lej starts to look after a lot of chopping and wear well over a year, um, but to me it looks like natural hair and I love that. Of course, you know, you don't have to wear it like bangs. You could like do a little side type of thing, a little 
you know, side puff action, like, come on, natural hair for the win. Oh, I like that. And I also love this color. But let me switch back to the 1B. Let me know how you feel about this Lejay wig in the comments down below. How are you liking the kinky hair units that I am showing you? Are you ready for more? Drop a comment down below. Have you tried the Vanessa brand before? This is really the only wig I've tried from their brand and I just stayed true to it because I've bought it multiple times and it lasts a long time and it's great for my work. Let me know how you feel about it for you. I know a few of you have requested seeing human hair kinky hair units and I can confirm officially that I will be working with some companies to bring you that, so stay tuned. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and type that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. $20 Tuesdays is on and popping. Yes. Natural hair for the win. I love it. Also, speaking of natural textured wigs, I did just do a lookbook with my girl Hearts and Cake 90. Make sure you check that out because Outre is slaying the game with their textured wigs. I mean, I, I'm just loving it. These wigs are mostly marketed towards women of color, black women specifically. And I just like when companies, you know, take heed to what our actual hair texture is and what it looks like. My natural hair is not silky and that's probably why I don't care for silky wigs like that. So it's just nice when I can see my hair reflected in a company. So check out that lookbook. Let me know how you feel about LeJ. And if you wanna see some of my recent videos, you can check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you so much for joining me for $20 Tuesday and I will see you in the next video. Bye.